Hey everybody, welcome, it's Caleb. This video, I wanted to take the time to first announce my new course and then walk you through the stuff that we cover and why it's important. So, wanted to share that I am releasing a software engineering fundamentals course. This is the foundational layer for everything else you learn in software. I will have a link to the course in the description below. I'll run you through what motivated me to create this, but I just wanted to mention that we're running a pre-sale on the course. So if it's something you want to join, you can access it now for 30% off. And that's a discount that I'll be running for the next three days. So I got my little advertisement out of the way. Now I wanna to talk to you about why I decided to make this course and I can help you decide if it's something you might need. So if you haven't been following along with the channel for some time, I was doing some system design videos and was advertising that I was starting a new mentorship program. And this was something where I worked with people more closely to meet them where they are in terms of their skill and help them get to where they're trying to go. I've worked with a lot of different people, some people trying to build their own apps, some people trying to get employed, some people wanting to progress from entry level to senior level, and even some people working in other roles who needed to sharpen up on their software skills. However, even though the guide and the roadmap I provided for people was a custom roadmap, I still found that everybody needed a core set of knowledge. So throughout this mentorship program, I started to put together a core principles document. This continued to grow and build until it was a much larger document. It was all text-based and I would continually adapt and add material to this anytime I found some fundamental skill that people were lacking. It got to the point when any time I would work with somebody new, they would say, hey, where do I start? I'm trying to achieve X, Y, or Z. I would say, hey, you need to start with this fundamental section right here. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't enjoy starting with the fundamentals, filling gaps of knowledge. They just want to focus on the exciting stuff, building new projects, whatever it may be. But as soon as they go to do one of those things, for example, they might be working on some technical interviewing, some data structures and algorithms. They are failing those problems because of gaps in core knowledge that this fundamental material provided. So after working with many people and helping multiple people land software engineering roles and helping multiple people progress to senior software engineering roles, my conviction in this fundamental material did not weaken but actually became stronger. Even the people who are already software engineers wanting to progress were missing core skills that I put in this beginner material. But then it dawned on me that people going through my course material also need this foundational material. So what if I could provide a bunch of interesting applied courses and then anytime I needed to reference some foundational material, instead of teaching that information in line and distracting from the course content, I provided a fundamentals course that will get you from absolutely zero to a proficient level in software development. By the end of the course, you should be capable of being a software engineer. You should have the skills needed to be able to approach problems, solve them, and think of your own software ideas and to start to build things on your own. So I took that material and I started planning a dedicated fundamentals course. And that's exactly what I'm bringing to you here today. This will start with the foundation, the beginning material, but it's going to go in depth. It's going to bring you to a new level of skill and it's going to do it in such a way that it doesn't take hundreds of hours or waste a bunch of your time. Think of it as like a computer science degree or a software engineering degree combined in a nutshell. Everything you might benefit from one of those curriculums is in course form and way, way more affordable. Since I know everybody needs these fundamentals, I wanted to keep it at a price point that was accessible to the majority of people. So when you purchase the course, you get first an ebook, which is all the written material for the course that you can use to learn, to reference, or to take code sections and snippets to use for your own projects. And you will access the videos which are associated with those notes. So you'll get a video lesson and a written lesson that go together, and that's how it's structured for the entire course. When you gain access to the material, it's very extensive on everything you should know. So you can go to any of these sections, for example, 2D lists, and you get a lot of examples in Python. And I wanna talk a bit about the language because some of you might be like, oh, I use Java or some other language. And I'm gonna explain exactly why I chose to use Python for this. This is a course that focuses on a lot of core concepts and topics that will make you a better engineer regardless of what language. So for example, inside of the foundational theory, we have a ton of different concepts you should know. This is completely language agnostic. So for example, you can learn about some of the common security problems. This has nothing to do with what language you use and everything to do with your approach to building software. And then additionally, these applied lessons in Python talk about core concepts that apply to many languages. So for example, we have a double-ended queue. This is a data structure that you will use in any programming language. So I recommend you follow this course with Python. You learn those core concepts and you can apply them anywhere in your career. 
However, you could definitely translate this if you desired to into any other programming language, which actually might be a fun exercise and a great way to learn a specific language. You basically go through this material, but change what language you're learning it in. But there's a reason I picked Python, and I've done a ton of different programming languages on this YouTube channel. Picking Python was on purpose. I believe it's a programming language that offers the least amount of friction to learn core software engineering and computer science principles. So when you're trying to learn some new data structure or some algorithm or how to build an API or an application of some sort, you can achieve the end result, building the app or implementing some idea in code the easiest with the Python programming language. Reducing the amount of effort you have to focus on the language allows you to focus on the idea and the applied concept. Some of the people that I've worked with mentoring, they came in, hey, no, I use Java, I use just JavaScript. And then after working with me, they realized, oh, hey, actually, Python was the way to go. And now I'm actually switching over to Python to learn these principles and do things like data structures and algorithms and some of these other topics. You definitely can use other languages by all means, but the reason we use Python is because it's an efficient path to the end goal and allows you to write and solve problems faster. So if you wanna get through the fundamentals the easiest and learn all the concepts the easiest and learn a programming language that you definitely should know, then this applied in Python is a perfect solution for you. By the end, you'll have all the beginner and intermediate topics of programming languages down and you'll have built a full stack application that's deployed to the web for you to put on the portfolio site we also build and deploy. Truly, I believe that this is a life transforming course that's going to lay the foundation for all of the future courses that I build. So spend the time, invest in yourself to learn this material. You're going to become a better developer and you're going to achieve more results, ultimately letting you progress in your career much farther and much faster. So that's pretty much a summary of why I created this course, but I just wanted to read one more thing to you. I don't use LinkedIn a whole lot, but I decided to write a post on why I created this course. And I wrote because it's what people need. The course covers every core topic I've needed to know in my 10 plus years in tech. This is after creating hundreds of hours of tutorial content here on YouTube with other course providers and publishers. So many people are looking for quick fixes to become a better software engineer, avoiding learning the fundamentals and the foundations that make learning anything after that so much easier. Then the same person that was looking for a shortcut struggles to learn new concepts or implement critical features, costing them valuable time and opportunities. If instead they spent a portion of their time, no more than an hour per day needed, their progress would skyrocket and they'd become a 10X engineer. Ultimately though, people don't like to put in the work. And that's why I put the work in for you. I curated every valuable piece of information you should know as a beginner or intermediate developer, both theory and hands-on, even if it's your first time coding. Every course I build after this will depend on this information. It's non-negotiable. So hopefully this expresses how important I believe this material is. I encourage you to follow along with this process, start with the fundamentals, go through that material, and I'll be releasing more courses on specialized topics. And we have a very sick lineup for material here on YouTube, so, Stay tuned. Just to wrap up, I'll leave a link for the course as well as some other resources down in the description. And ultimately, I hope to see you in on the inside of the course. Talk to you in the next video.